welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl oj abade if you are a returning subscriber thank you for stopping by and if you are a new subscriber you're welcome to the oj fam please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell so you get notified each time i have a new video and also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it at the end without any further ado let's dive into the video so today's video is going to be a different one. I'm going to be recreating Ashley's mega makeup moment look for the instant influencer that she created with James Charles. If you don't know what instant influencer is, it's actually a YouTube original show that James Charles put up during the quarantine period and I happen to be a fan of it and I was Ashley's fan. I decided to recreate her winning makeup look. So I've done half face. Off camera this is just a normal glam I'm just going to go ahead to do this because the glam is just about the look she created with half part of her face so I decided to do this part on camera so I'm starting off with a damn beauty sponge and using the benign clown white as a base for the other half part of my face I'm trying to make sure everything is even and smooth and that's why you could see me going on on one side of my face so as I was doing this, I realized that I haven't prepped my brows, which is the first thing I was supposed to do. So as you're going to see, I actually pursed and went back in with the brows. Yep. And then for the brows, I used the classic large glue to lay it down and then set it with translucent powder. And this me going back to the face, trying to make sure my base is even. And I went in with this orange eyeshadow and tried to outline the V shape I'd already done on the other side of my eyes as well. Because the clown white was already there, it could actually hold the eyeshadow, so it was easy for me. I was just layering it and layering it to make sure it's not patchy and it looks even as well. And then when I was done, as you're going to see, I went in with the Beyond Beauty Gel Liner to outline the perimeters of the eyeshadow shape I'd already made on this side of my face. Just like it, as it is on the other side of my face, just literally doing the same thing on this side as well. Now guys, this gel liner is smudge proof. I know there are a lot of gel liners out there that claims to be smudge proof and then when you buy it within a week and a month, they already dried and cakey. But this one is not like that. I've had it for over six months and I still use it. I highly recommend it. It's the Beyond Beauty gel liner and it's very affordable. You can get it on their, web, on their page on Instagram. I'll probably leave the handle there on the screen. Yep. So when I was done with the eyes, I went in to outline the perimeters of my lips as well as she did in her video. This is me trying to do everything she did on her look. And if you haven't seen Instant Influencers, guys, you need to check it out. That show was really, really interesting. Kept me, kept me entertained all through the quarantine period. So this is me writing the letters that she wrote on her face, the words rather. She spelled the lips, the cheeks, the eyes, the brows, and the nose. She actually used the plural form, which is adding S, but because I was doing working one side of my face, I decided to go in with just a singular form of it. So it's cheek, lips, nose, eye, and chin. And then putting them in quotation. For the quotation, I actually doubled it later to make it look more like a quote. So guys, if you want to recreate this look, I would highly recommend you use a gel, a gel liner with a disposable one, like as I'm using in this video, because she tried using a gel pencil and pen rather, and it was difficult for her. So with this technique, I find it easier trying to work with the letters on my face the most difficult one trying to write was the nose because of how letters came from up downwards but i still got it anyways and i love the look and for my first dramatic look i think i tried or creative look i think i tried i'll leave her picture on the screen so you could see what her look looks like 
I'm done. This is me going on with the lash and I use the Ewaron case lash. Here is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed creating this whole look. I love the way it turned out. This is the Ashley's off-white look. And thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!